Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. Hey there, I want to start off with a look across the country because I know a lot of us might be having some travel plans this weekend. Maybe you want to head out west. Well, right now we got a line of storms moving across Louisiana, even some more back into Texas, all part of just these series of storms we've been seeing all week, bringing some nasty weather, even a few confirmed tornadoes out there today. So if you have any travel plans out west, just want to watch out for those delays. Here on the First Coast, though, nothing like that. We only had a few serious clouds kick on through today, and just because it's so dry, anything that did develop as far as that cloud cover, you can even watch on our time lapse, is almost evaporated right out as our dew points were even lower than the mid-60s earlier today. They were down into the uh, 40s, so exceptionally dry. Here's that sunset. There's those few clouds I was talking about and uh, did make for a beautiful sunset out there at the very least. Um, let's take a look at that forecast though, heading into the rest of the weekend and into next week. And the big thing, you know, the next 48 hours is pretty pleasant. Those dew points continue to remain low, but they will gradually start to march back up. And that means by the mid part of next week, it's going to get a lot more humid. And I'll show on the seven day here in just a moment, Wednesday over towards Thursday, that'll be our next real chance of some uh, scattered showers here on the first coast. For our Friday though, an onshore breeze is going to keep things uh, uh, relatively cooler, especially out near the coast. I'm expecting about 10 to 20 mile per hour sustained winds. This also means anything that could develop out across our area is all going to get pushed west all towards the Suwannee Valley. I think it's too dry for that. But if we do get any sea breeze showers, it's all going to rush towards the uh, west. 83 degrees, though, if you want to head out to the beach. Keep in mind that UV index, despite, you know, being relatively cooler, is still high. That sun's going to be beating down on you. So you're going to be watching out for that. Rip currents also remaining on the high side thanks to that onshore breeze. But that heat index not getting all too high here. This compared to about a week ago today, we were up into those triple digits. Tomorrow, we're just going to be into the high 80s. 87 actually for our high. Another start to the nice start to the day with that sunset at about 824 p.m. All right, you want to go out to the Jumbo Shrimp, maybe watch that nice sunset from one to one financial. It's also some fireworks since it's Friday night and it's summertime. You always look forward to that there. First pitch is at 705. No chance of any rainfall across that area. And even heading more towards Saturday into Sunday, I expect that east breeze to continue. Rip current risk on Saturday. Um, and then Sunday, you're still going to be looking at the isolated inland shower as our high pressure ridge starts to settle towards the south and east. Could pull in a little bit of moisture from the south, but I think generally we have to wait until Wednesday, maybe towards Thursday until this storm up here starts to make it into our neck of the woods. And that's where we have that chance of rain there by the latter half of next week. But for this weekend, my goodness, it is looking